Hi everyone, Corey here with Team Kramer Fishing. Today I'm fishing at Hickory Grove um, County Park. And my understanding is they're going to be draining this, this lake here pretty soon and reconstructing it and putting it back together. So I'm going to try to scope it out. This might be a spot where we come to stock our, you know, really try to stock our freezer up this year. Maybe with some bluegill or crappie or whatever we can pull out of here. Uh, I haven't caught any fish out of here before, so, and I haven't filmed here. So this is going to be an exploration. I'll probably do a few more videos, you know, and try to figure this place out, see if I can get some fish out of it. So let's just go see what's in here. All right, I'm going to take a couple casts uh, with a wacky rigged worm. I think this is a Yum brand. I believe it or not. The ones that I was trying to find were kind of hard to find. They don't have them at my Walmart anymore. The uh, KVD Strike King. I have to try someplace new to get those. So I got a couple laydowns here, looks like. Um, or wood piles. Let's just take a cast out here and see what we can get. All right, didn't get anything with the fake worm, so we're gonna use a real worm. Sunfish, green sunfish. All right, got a tiny little green sunfish on the worm. Not the size we're looking for today, but we know there's fish. Hmm. Feels a little better. Oh, that's a chunky one. Chunky one. He might have swallowed my hook. Huh? That's definitely keeper size if I was keeping him. Which I might be next time I come back if I can figure out what the heck is in here. I don't know if I can get that. It's a good seven incher. Lots of meat on this guy too. All right, two sunfish. Need to restring my pole. Fish on. What do we got? Little largemouth bass. Nice. Right from under that log where he was supposed to be. Pretty, very, a lot lighter colored than the ones that I've been catching. Feisty little guy. All right, so we got green sunfish. Got a little largemouth bass. Let's see if we can get a little bit bigger. Um, largemouth bass, that'd be cool. I'm gonna go right back down there. Log's pretty big. There could be another one hanging out down there. Fish on. <clears throat> that looks like the same guy I caught earlier. I don't think you want to fall down that cliff, little dude. You better let me help you. I'm up like 10 feet. Another little guy. Actually, he looks a little smaller than the last one. All right, I don't think there's a big one under there.
Got one. Oh, oh, this is decent. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can get him up. Pretty good largemouth bass. This is my panfish rig. Let's see if I can get him off without breaking my line here. Ooh, his teeth are sharp, man. Got it. Third largemouth of the day. This one's the biggest one so far. He's uh, probably, I'm gonna say 11 inches. Not too bad. Pretty fun on the, pretty fun on the panfish setup. I don't see my bobber. Fish out there. Holy smokes. Hey, we got a bluegill. Third species of the day. He was so little I couldn't tell he was on there. I'll have to cut this one off. Alright, sunfish, bluegill, and bass. Largemouth. Put him back in. What is this? The tiniest little bass. Tiniest little guy. Couldn't even pull my bobber down. All right, let's let this little guy go back. Couldn't even tell he was on there. a little bigger. Coming in easy though. Oh, there we go. Nice bluegill. Nice bluegill. Let's see if we can get that out. Good looking little six incher. All right, back in you go. Getting a little bit bigger bluegill. All right, I mean for an 80 degree day at you know, high noon or 11 o'clock or so. Pretty decent outing to for a place I'd never fished before and really stuck to sh on shore. Um, I got a handful of largemouth bass, got a couple bluegill, and got a couple sunfish. So I got an idea of what's in here. Um, very confident that I came, if I came in the evening time or the really early in the morning, we could definitely get some size out of some of these, um, especially some of the panfish if we wanted to get some um, to eat. And I only explored, I don't know, maybe a fifth of the, probably less than a fifth of the shoreline, honestly. Um, probably more like a seventh or eighth of, a, of the shoreline. So um, there's definitely fish in here, and they're definitely catchable. Um, so Hickory Grove, we'll, I'll probably be back here again. I may, you know, maybe we'll bring Vivian out and try to see if we can get some big bluegill or something. Um, so it's always fun to go exploring new places and just see what they have to offer. And um, I'm going to keep doing this and just try a new spot. So especially given the time of day that I'm fishing right now and that we're not into the fall big bite yet. Um, lets me go get a lay of the land. It saves me a lot of time when the fish are biting. So I can come and target the right spots at the right time, you know, for those really good fish without me screwing around, wandering around the woods. I mean, I'm covered in thorns and freaking seeds and everything else. Hopefully not ticks. I haven't seen any yet, but so I can do all that now during the day. Um, even if I know I'm probably not going to catch like a bunch of big fish and I can get a feeling for where the fish might be um, for when I come out during kind of the prime time hours. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll try someplace new next time maybe.